this is a quick video to show you how we can boot your Amiga CD32 into NTSC mode. This is obviously essential if your TV doesn't support PAL. Um, and to do this you need a mouse, you can't do this without a mouse. Um, I'm using this Logic 3 one which has like Amiga and ST on the back there. And you're basically going to reboot the system with both mouse buttons held down and a little hidden menu appears. So I'm now going to cut to the TV and I'll show you how to do it. So here we are at the TV. I'm um, just using this Lemmings as an example. You may, you can sort of see there, it's not quite filling the screen. Now this TV supports NTSC and PAL, so I've got sort of the luxury, if you like, of, of choosing both. But it's also a good way to show you the difference. So this is obviously in PAL. See this massive gap there? And again, the nice big gap there. This is how the game would have looked normally anyway. And again, a huge chunk of the screen is just not being used there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reset the CD32. I'm going to hold down both mouse buttons. Just going to wait for it to boot. <clears throat> and this will show us this uh, sort of secret menu, if you like. It's got a few options in there, but I'm only going to uh, worry about this bit here, which is display options. And here we can choose between NTSC and PAL. Now, I used to have a telly that didn't support NTSC, so it was the other way around for me. And when I tried to um, switch modes, or anything, if I tried to load a NTSC game and want to switch the other way around, when I got to this screen it was all distorted and wobbly, but obviously because the TV didn't support that screen mode. So what I had to do was try and see through all the haze and sort of duplicate images to click on the correct display type. So as I don't have a, a screen that doesn't support PAL, I don't exactly know what you're going to see. Um, hopefully you can see through it and manage to click on NTSC, and click use and click boot. Now obviously like I said this tele supports both. So I just saw the screen mode switch there. I can see the lines are uh, further apart now. So I just wait for this to get back to that screen. And as you can see already, it's filling the screen now. So I know that it's using less lines, 240 I think it is, lines across the screen. And again, we're going to come, we come see, this, see these logos. So again, filling the screen, and again, filling the screen. And for me, this makes Lemmings a better experience because uh, if I go straight into the game, Again, the, all the graphics are now completely filling the screen. And it's actually getting, looks like it's getting chopped off a bit at the bottom there. <laughs> and you might, you might even find that with some games. Some games obviously utilize all of the, uh, the resolution. I think it's like 256 versus 240 on NTSC. So if you play a game like that, you're gonna see the bottoms of the graphics being chopped off. But in this case, in Lemmings, it actually works out really good because it fills much more of the screen. Still not the whole screen, still got a bit of a border. But, uh, so anyway that's it hopefully that's been useful hopefully on your TV that uh, doesn't support PAL you can manage to find your way through that menu to select NTSC and boot it and uh, even if or if you have a telly like mine you might like the option to boot it into NTSC so you get slightly faster refresh rate meaning the games run a little bit faster in some cases and uh, they fill the screen Hopefully this has been good. If it has, please give me a thumbs up. If it hasn't, then give me a thumbs down. If uh, you'd like to leave a comment, please do that. And if you'd like to see more of this sort of thing, please subscribe. Thank you.